Hi, it's Mitch from Mobile Edge, and today we're going to talk about remote car starters that are installed in vehicles with manual transmission. We get a lot of people that ask questions uh, both online on our Facebook page, on our website, and through email, and in the store about exactly how that's done. How can you remote start your car safely when you have a manual transmission? Truth is, if it's done correctly with the proper equipment, it's very safe, it's very secure, and we thought it would be, be important for us to show you exactly what the customer needs to do to properly start their car after a remote starter has been installed in their vehicle uh, with the manual transmission. So we have one in the bay right now. Uh, Bob's been working on it for a while and he's just finishing it up. So we figured we'd take a walk back there and show you exactly the whole process and how it works. Uh, before we do that, I just want to make a statement that is very important in my opinion. If you have a remote, if you have a vehicle that has a manual transmission and you want to get a remote starter, please have it done by a professional, please. It's so important that that job is done right, not just from a, I don't want to damage my car standpoint, but much more from a, a liability and a uh, safety aspect. Uh, you just want to make sure that that's done by a professional, somebody that's done many of them and knows exactly what they're doing. So I'll get off my soapbox and we'll go take a look at exactly the right way to make this happen. Thanks. Okay, now we'll take a walk back in the bay and have Bob show us exactly how a remote starter and a manual trans transmission vehicle works. So. There's Bob. Show us, uh, show us how this is done. Okay. So remote start manual transmission. First and foremost thing, important, is reservation mode needs to be set. So that's what we'll show you how, how to do reservation mode. And, and why is that? What, what, it's what is that to? a safety feature to make sure that the car is in neutral and does not start while in gear. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So reservation mode is actually pretty simple. We're going to unlock the truck, we're going to get in, and we're going to pretend we're driving down the road. So this okay. is what somebody would be doing? They... Driving wherever. Okay. Now you're going to park your, your, park your car, so you're going to shift it into neutral as you park it. You're going to engage your parking brake and take your foot off of everything. The clutch, the brake. Now your car is still running, don't shut it off yet. It's still running, but it is now parked in neutral. Okay. So now you're going to grab your remote starter remote and you're going to press the start button as if you were to start the car. Hold it for the two and a half seconds and that engages the remote starter, which now will allow us to turn the key off. But if you notice, he's in my hand, truck's still running. So now you exit the vehicle and close the door. And when the remote starter sees the last door close, it sets reservation mode. So it shuts down, locks the doors, and now the truck is set in reservation mode. So the, the purpose behind that was to make sure that when you got out of the vehicle, that the vehicle was indeed in neutral. Right. Otherwise, it would be driving away as you got out of the car. Right. You'd right. feel it kick or whatever. Okay. So now reservation mode is set, which will allow us to remote start the vehicle. And it's going to go through its process. Start. Just like any other remote hmm. Okay, so there the, the no. car's running. Now, when you want to get into the car to drive away. So you've just done this from inside your house. You started the vehicle. Vehicle was left in, in reservation mode, but now you want to drive away. Then what? Unlock the door. Get in the vehicle. Do not step on the brake or touch your emergency brake or anything yet. The first thing you're going to do is take your key, put it back into the ignition, turn it on. Now you can step on the brake, which kills the remote starter, and now the car is running on the key just like if you were to start it. Okay, so basically right now the customer could just drive away. Yep, now you can drive away. Nothing's any different than it was before you had a remote starter. Okay, very good. Now, why don't you show us what would happen if it, if it wasn't in okay. reservation now, right mode? Right now, I'm not going through any of the steps. The truck shut off just like it would every other day, of the, every other time. We get out of the car, and now we'll try and remote start it, and you'll notice the parking lights will flash a sequence of times to tell you that reservation mode was not set, 
and that the car will not start. Okay, very good. So just to kind of summarize the whole thing, to put it into reservation mode, you put the emergency brake on and shift, to neutral. shift it into neutral. Yeah. And then, then what do you do? Then you press the remote start button okay. to engage the remote starter. So then the car is running, you get out of the car, the car is still running. As soon as it sees the last door close, then it shuts the car off and now it's in reservation mode. Now, what if that gets interrupted? What if somebody gets back in the car? You would need to set reservation mode again in order for it to remote start. Okay. If anything in that sequence, the emergency brake, the foot brake, or a door is interrupted, it will kill reservation mode and it will have to be reset again in order for the car to remote start. Okay, and that's done for safety purposes so that somebody couldn't have gotten into the vehicle and and put it, and put it back into gear. Right. So as long as the doors remain closed and everything, you'll be able to remote your, remote start your car later in the day or the next day or whatever. Right. All right. Very good. I think that sums it up. It shows the safety features that we, we put into it and, and how you can remotely start a car uh, you know, very safely if it's done right. So thanks a lot, Bob. Sure.